hi everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Laurel if you guys are new here then be sure to like share comment and subscribe of course Monday it's currently 11 30 and I just got out of work for today hopefully it's gonna be a productive and interesting video because I'm gonna be doing a pack with me for my 11 hour road trip to Maine coming up on Friday. It's basically gonna be like a weekend getaway with a couple of my friends and I'm gonna be packing a bunch of stuff. I'm the type of packer that just overpacks. Like I said, it is Monday, so I still have a couple days. And technically for me, I am an early packer and packing today seems late already. Like I feel like it's so close to the date that I know I'm gonna miss a couple things and forget a couple things because normally I would pack like a week ahead of the trip but I had work and you know things happen so technically this is like really late for me so I hope I don't forget anything first I do need to shower up wash my hair because I smell like donuts and coffee and then we'll get right into the pack with me okay I'm back and I just came back from the shower usually what I like to do is lay out some of the things that I have on my list some of these things I won't be able to pack until maybe the night before because I'm still probably gonna use them throughout the week I'm literally just gonna go through my list and then kind of just see what I need to pack the night before and then I'll show you guys like what I actually have packed so far Okay, so I realized that the way that I was doing it earlier, like going through my list one item by one item and basically filming myself doing that was gonna take such a long time. So I shut the camera off and it's been about 30, 35 minutes and I kinda just went through the whole list. Everything is on my bed and it's such a mess because I kinda just threw everything that I saw on my list and just went ham also i'm on my bed so i'm not sure if my camera will be stable throughout this video so bear with me i'm gonna basically just show you everything that i decided to pack then we'll put it all together in this huge bag if it doesn't fit then i will have another bag but hopefully everything fits inside this bag because I really don't want to bring two bags to be honest okay so starting with this thing i kind of just threw in some instant coffees, matcha, like instant matcha, some granola bars, and some like breakfast fruit bars. And then I have instant oatmeal and tea bags and a caramel flavored syrup thing for my coffee. And some ketchup and my bamboo straws. Kind of just threw that in there for the mornings and if anybody wanted to, you know, have some tea or coffee, I just threw that in there this little baggie here is just like allergy medicine and some emergency packets because my allergies really kick it towards the nighttime like i start sneezing coughing eyes watery the whole situation so don't want that to happen while i'm there because it is a little chillier it's still in like the 70s up in maine so i want to be prepared i'm also going to put this um highline wellness cbd gummies inside this little baggie as well. This little baggie here is just my skincare and like hair care products. I'm not gonna open the whole thing. I'll just read you guys what I put in here. I basically put body wash, lotion, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, this little toilet drop thing that makes the toilet smell good so I don't feel embarrassed. Sunscreen, this is face sunscreen. I have like rocacea gel just in case I get lights or itchiness and I need a gel to really relief that itchiness. I got my face serum, eye drops, perfume, deodorant, bug insect relief bug wipes and then of course my cleanser and stuff like that this little container right here just contains q-tips band-aids eye drops but these are specifically for like allergy relief the other ones are just if you have dry eyes this is hydrocortisone cream in case i get like a cut or anything because we are going to be going to a national park so i'm really trying to be prepared for any cuts burns stings like anything and they have a very very high tick season right now so i have to have my bugs this is the off 
deep woods like dry version I'm literally just picking up everything that I see I haven't put these in bags yet but I have my hairbrush some makeup remover wipes I have hand sanitizer spray that I'm gonna put in my little baggie I have like this to-go fan thing in case I get hot while we're hiking or something I have a shaver I have this little baggie that just contains my jewelry so I just have two different hoops like gold hoops a couple rings I got a hair clip and some hair ties inside as well I got two glasses cases one is for my eyeglasses and one is for my sunglasses I have this air dry spray for my hair because I don't really plan on doing anything to my hair other than just washing it and just spraying this this just helps dry my hair a lot faster and it doesn't make it look frizzy so I, I really like this and then I have a sunscreen spray this is SPF 70 I have this huge jug for my water I gotta clean this thing so I'm not gonna put it in the bag because I haven't washed it yet I also have this backpack that I'm gonna just throw on when we are going hiking and just throwing on like my water bottle sunscreen all the things that I am gonna need while we are out and about these two are pretty cool I got these off of Amazon these are just disposable pillowcases I haven't used them yet like I don't know how these are supposed to work so I'm gonna bring those. This little baggie from Rare Beauty is actually my makeup container. So I just have like face spray, mascara, eyeliner, lip balm, concealer, BB cream, a lip mask, just like tissue, another face spray, some cream blush and eyebrow gel, and then just like an eyelash curler and mascara. And this is the BB cream that I'm using because it has SPF 30. And my camera's at 16% and I'm really scared it's gonna die on me but before we get into the clothing part I have a portable charger and of course my cord headphones while we're on the road okay and then I have this little baggie it's just like a side bag it's black it's corduroy um, I thrifted this and then I have like my hand sanitizer in here and inside this is just like a couple face masks I'm gonna be using that as well and then I'm debating on whether or not I'm gonna bring this tote bag but I guess to be safe, I just should. I have this hat to cover my face from the sun. This is just a black basic like trucker hat from Amazon. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the clothing part and then I'm gonna go and change my battery and then we'll put all of this into my bag. So this isn't clothing, but I brought a towel. I have two sweaters that I'm gonna bring. I'm probably gonna wear one of these on the road there. So I have a hoodie and I have like a fuzzier like warmer jacket in case it gets chilly at night. I have a pair of leggings, a pair of black flared pants just to kind of lounge around in. I have this cute little baby tee, something cute and light. I have this plain long sleeve backless bodysuit. It's just white in case we go out. I know we're gonna go eat at like a lobster place since Maine is really known for their delicious lobsters. So I want to bring like at least one nice top. I have a plain white crop top because I'm probably going to wear like this overall with it. This is just a green kind of cropped wide leg overall. I have a basic graphic tee. You see what I mean? Like I have so many clothes that I'm planning to pack and we're probably only going to be there for like two days. I have another plain um, top. This is just green it's nice and fitted I have a pair of Bermuda shorts I have a pair of like white linen pants and then I have a pair of jeans I'm actually planning to wear the jeans and probably one of the tops on our way there so I just have a plain pair of boyfriend jeans I have a pajama set which is just a striped pink and white long pajama and just a basic white tee I don't have the bottoms, they're in the wash right now, but this is just like a workout set that I'm probably gonna wear when we're going out hiking, but I'm not really sure yet, I, I don't really know. But this is just the sports bra. I have some booby tape for the backless top. And then I have like seven pairs of underwear, five pairs of socks, and I think that is pretty much it. As for shoes, I'm bringing one pair of black shoes when we're going out hiking, like black sneakers. I'm bringing my Air Force Ones and I'm bringing my black Birkenstocks. And I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna bring as for shoes. The black Birkenstocks I can throw on when we're like chilling in the house. Yeah, so we're gonna try to put everything in this bag and I'm gonna go change my battery real, real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my underwear and my socks in these little baggies. I'm gonna 
put the heaviest things inside. I don't think this is gonna fit in this bag. Let's be real. I don't think it will. So I'll put my wallet in here and my sunglasses. as I had expected this does not fit my clothes um so I'm probably gonna end up putting this in another bag All right my camera decided to overheat and shut down so um it's been an hour and I had some lunch took a quick little nap now I'm back I have my bigger bag now which I feel like is gonna fit all of my clothes including my towel and including my water bottle, which is great. And then I'm gonna just kinda start putting these in. No particular order, except for the ones that I already rolled. I didn't even take into account that I have shoes. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy. I'm gonna wear my biggest, like chunkiest shoe. And then the Birkenstocks and the black like hiker sneaker shoes. I'm just gonna throw into a plastic bag. Just call it a day because these are already like huge, two huge bags. I'm gonna go ahead and put like hand sanitizer in this bag as well as my headphones into this little baggie. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for this Thursday's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little pack with me for a road trip video. I'm super excited. I'm just really excited to get away from this state because the only other place I've been to was New York City, which is like an hour away from me. And I love going there, but I just kind of want a change of scenery for a while. And that's why I decided to go on this road trip, even though it's a crazy freaking long drive. It's totally okay. It gives me an excuse to just get out of the house and just enjoy nature and enjoy a different state and its food because I know they're very known for their lobster and I'm so, so excited to eat a lot of lobster. But enough said. I'm gonna go now. I've got a lot of other things to do today, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my website, shopindreamland.com, and also my Instagram. If you wanna follow me, I'll be posting on my story during my trip in Maine and a couple pictures as well. So if you're interested, check out my Instagram. And I think that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on Sunday's video. Have a great day. Bye! Thank you.